Every year on February 4th, World Cancer Day is observed all over the world. This day is observed to raise awareness of a disease which has affected and continues to affect every one of us. Cancer, malignant tumors or neoplasms can start in any organ in the body and can lead to high treatment costs, disability and even death. The World Health Organization, WHO, in 2020 reported that one in every six deaths or 10 million deaths worldwide were the result of cancer. Globally, cancer is the second leading cause of death. The latest report from our National Epidemiology Department indicates that for both male and female, cancer is the second most common cause of death in St. Lucia. Prostate, breast, lung, colon, cervix, endometrium, stomach, and ovarian cancer are among the top 10 cancers that contributed to death here over the last five years. Fellow St. Lucians, consider this. According to our epidemiology department, between 2016 and 2020, approximately 280 new cases of cancer were diagnosed each year. Cancer accounted for approximately 20% of deaths per year over the last decade. The majority of breast cancer deaths were people between the ages of 45 to 55 years old. And the majority of prostate cancer deaths are in the 65 and over age group. And it's important to note that the cancer in men is being diagnosed at a much later stage. The situation is alarming and all of us need to take action. The theme for World Cancer Day 2023 is Close the Care Gap. The observance of this day every year challenges us to not only raise awareness of the ill effects of cancers, but to encourage all persons to engage in cancer prevention strategies, early detection, and effective treatment of cancer. Cancer prevention strategies include reducing or eliminating certain risks, such as smoking, alcohol use, unhealthy diets, which include low intake of fruits and vegetables, and a lack of physical activity. An estimated 40% of cancer-related deaths linked to these risk factors can be prevented if we target them. Cancer-causing infections such as human papilloma virus, HPV, and hepatitis can also significantly increase the number of cancer cases such as cervical and liver cancers. Despite the high death rates associated with cancer, the evidence has shown that many cancers can still be effectively treated and can even be cured if detected early enough. Early detection of cancer through effective screening and early diagnosis to improve the chance of survival of solutions is the way to go. The ministry continues with the sub-theme show concern for cancer this year. Through this continued focus, we will promote the awareness of the impact of various types of cancers on individuals, families, and the society. Furthermore, we will continue to encourage people to take actionable steps to access cancer screening. Currently, screening for cancers such as breast, cervix, and prostate can be done at all wellness centers. Vaccines for HPV are also available for children in grade 6. We will continue to promote the awareness of cancer and its impact on families and the whole society. Join us and let's utilize the opportunities for screening, promote healthy living, and create a more supportive environment for those who are affected. I join all who continue to fight, all who are cancer survivors, and all our medical professionals in this year's observance of World Cancer Day. I thank you.